Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, just wanted to go over today my vinyl collection. Well, I'm not going to go through the collection, but uh, just kind of show you my setup here. I got some new vinyl pickups, and I want, kind of wanted this to serve as um, a bit of an intro to the uh, vinyl collecting community on, on YouTube. Um, just kind of browsing today. Uh, I contacted a couple um, uh, vinyl collectors. I guess they're in the vinyl collecting community on YouTube, but anyways. Um, just with a couple questions, I, um, I'm relatively new at this. I've been collecting vinyl here and there for years. Um, you know, my knowledge is quite low. I, uh, I'm a huge music fan. Um, probably the, the, the most knowledgeable genre for me is classic hip hop. I'm really into funk, soul, R&B, um, blues, I'm getting more into jazz now. Uh, by no means am I anywhere near an expert. I'd say my my musical knowledge is probably above average at best. Um, but uh, as you can see, as most of you know, um, I my main thing I, I go to garage sales and thrift stores a lot. To uh, co I collect video games. Um, I've been like uh, I buy vinyl and DVDs also. So I've really been enjoying picking up vinyl more lately. Um, so anyways, this is my setup here. I have no idea how many pieces of vinyl I have, but I'm pretty sure these shelves can hold, I've heard like probably 2,500 pieces of vinyl. This is the biggest Ikea Expedit um, that they sell. And then there's another one with uh, eight sections there. So, I mean, I, I've never counted. I really have no idea, maybe 500, I, I don't know, pieces of vinyl. Um, a good section that, that probably that whole bottom row that you're looking at here is complete trash. Um, I looked at a couple, I was watching a couple YouTube videos and it's often referred to as like trash pile. Uh, mine's quite large. I recently inherited a uh, collection from my aunt and I was expecting some decent stuff. I would say 10% of it was worth keeping. The rest was, I don't know, obscure country stuff. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna, I guess I can say that pretty much the only thing I'm not into is country and like, I don't know, folk, that kind of stuff. Um, I enjoy Bob Dylan. There's a certain folky music I do enjoy, but I guess there's certain country I enjoy. Um, I don't mind like Willie Nelson, um, older stuff like Johnny Cash I love. Uh, I, I'm just not into country at all, so um, I don't see myself ever collecting or ever being able to get into country. I'd rather listen to classical than country. Um, I'm kind of blabbering on here. Anyways, um, yeah, I got my two turntables there. I, I mix and scratch a little bit. It's been a while since I've done that. Mostly lately just kind of throwing on records that I find at thrift stores, garage sales, stuff like that. Um, by no means am I any good at mixing or scratching, but it's kind of something I picked up five or ten years ago and I like to mess around with. Um, yeah, I got my dad's old Marantz receiver here. Recently picked up these speakers here. Uh, they're a German company, RFT I believe it is. Uh, they're okay. I need something better. A couple old old school ghettos there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just kind of go into the stuff I picked up today. I, I did pretty good actually. Um, it's rare that I find anything good at a, uh, at thrift stores. I actually lucked out with some, um, records and video games the other day. So, um, and then today I picked up another whole stack, uh, Charlie Daniels band, Madonna, true blue, uh, George Benson. I was not really familiar with. Um, I just picked it up. I, I paid about a dollar 50 a piece for these. So not too bad. I'll take a chance on the odd album. Um, I actually checked it out. It was pretty good. Um, I guess R&B, maybe a little bluesy. Uh, David Bowie. This is, what, Tonight? Uh, Bob Dylan on the tracks. Really happy to find a Dylan album. I never see that stuff. Uh, Tommy by The Who. Uh, okay. I grabbed this just ba strictly due to the cover. I read six and 12 string guitar and it ended up being exactly what I was hoping for. Just really fantastic um, 
pr uh, pretty sure most of it was just guitar only. Um, Leo uh, Kotke, Kotke, yeah, I'm guessing Kotke. Uh, really, really awesome album. Um, I had a chance to listen to a couple tracks. Exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I had never heard of them, but uh, I don't know how you can pass up that album cover. That's pretty awesome. Uh, David Bowie, Lodger. The Cure, Standing on a Beach, uh, a collection of singles, I believe. That's my first Cure album. Um, Roger Daltrey, uh, Van Morrison, Moondance. I uh, picked up a copy of Miles Davis' Greatest Hits. I had this already. Believe it or not, this will be an upgrade. The one I have is in really bad condition. Uh, it didn't play very well either. It's pretty scratched, so pretty happy to find that. The Crusaders. Uh, again, I had not heard of them. Um, I'm gonna come off like a real noob. I'm not. I'm not used to this. Um, I'll take a chance, and I did take a chance. I mean, just by the cover, it can't be that bad, right? I, uh, I listened to a couple tracks, and it's pretty good. Okay, here's where it went wrong. Al Jarreau, High Crime. Looked like it could be kind of bluesy, maybe jazz. For one, it looked older than I thought. Um, it looked older than it is, I should say. This is 84. It looked more like mid-70s, mid-early 70s. Anyways, it's just, from what I, it's pretty bad R&B. From, from what it sounded like to me, it was not good. Early 80s, not a great era for, I don't know, stuff like that. Even jazz was kind of more poppy. Um, Janet Jackson, Control, Chick Corea, and Return to Forever, Light as a Feather, uh, Tracy Chapman, uh, self-titled album, uh, it has Fast Current, that's really the only Tracy Chapman song I know, uh, Sheila E, The Glamorous Life, Saxy Jazz, Bill Black's Combo, haven't had a chance to check this out yet, but thought I'd give it a shot. Please let me know, anybody who sees this and um, knows their vinyl, let me know if I've got anything valuable here. Not that I'm going to sell it or anything, but um, it's nice to know when I pick up something rare or uncommon. Uh, Art Blackley, Art, Art Blackie, Blakey, Blakey, Blackie would, I, would not be a great name for an artist. Um, and the Afro Drum Ensemble. Again, took a chance on this. Don't know a whole lot about it. Etta James. Uh, picked it up. Uh, and all I know is, at last, it's really the only Etta James song I know. Jermaine Jackson. Again, just picked that up. A doll or something, why not? Uh, nice find here the other day. I, I found a couple of these... I found a couple of these yesterday, and I went back and checked today and found another whole pile. Herbie Hancock, Thrust. Uh, Lionel Richie, uh, Can't Slow Down. It's got All Night Long on there, that's all I really care about. And Hello, actually. Okay, found a huge pile of Beatles stuff. Um, First off, Rubber Soul. I believe I have this one. I think mine's in better condition too. Uh, Meet the Beatles. Didn't have that. Um, the Beatles yesterday and today. Definitely didn't have that either. Uh, the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Believe I have that. Uh, the Beatles Help. Didn't have that. Um, Let It Be I had. I couldn't pass it up though for that price. Um, actually, a lot of these were priced at five dollars. A lot of the better ones, or whoever priced them, considered them better ones. Um, basically, they're two dollars a piece, unless otherwise stated. But I took them to this girl yesterday, and she was there today. So I just brought up the whole pile, and I didn't even count them. I just said there's thirty something there, and she let me go with it. So uh, I think for thirty albums, it cost me fifty bucks, pretty much right on. Uh, the Beatles. The um, kind of a hits compilation, 62 to 66. Uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. 
two copies of that. Um, and then John Lennon, Yoko Ono, Double Fantasy. Kind of nice to find this. I, this is something I never, ever see. Uh, Paul McCartney, Tug of War. Pipes of Peace. What an awful cover. <laughs> Paul McCartney, Press to Play. That is fucking terrible. And the inside is much cooler, that's for sure. Wings at the speed of sound. And what's this, McCartney or Wings? Oh, Paul and Linda McCartney, Ram. I am not the biggest Beatles fan. I mean, I definitely respect the Beatles for you know, what they've done. Um, I just, it's not a lot of Beatles albums I can just sit and listen to all the way through. Their early stuff's way too poppy for me. Um, so I guess that's it for now. Um, I will be doing separate pickup videos for my vinyl, so anybody who's into my video games who probably doesn't give a shit about this kind of stuff, um, you won't have to sit through this to see what video games I got. Um, I'm going out garage sailing tomorrow, so hopefully I'll have a video up by Sunday, and uh, that's it for now. Later.